this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to generate and use more beautiful gradients on your WordPress site using Oxygen. So here we have a typical linear gradient, which is the type generated by most tools that we use. You can see that it kind of desaturates towards the middle. It moves through kind of a gray area as it moves from one end of the spectrum to the other. But if we scroll down, you can see a much more vibrant gradient result. That's because we're using a little bit of a different method to generate this gradient. And the secret to getting this kind of vibrant gradient is to use a gradient generator tool, such as the one at learnui.design slash tools slash gradient dash generator dot HTML. These tools use a different algorithm to generate the gradient. You can see here in this illustration, the gradient on the left is what we're used to, and you can see it travels in a straight line from point A to point B through the desaturated area in the middle. Now the algorithm this generator uses moves in a curve, resulting in a more vibrant result. And this gradient generator does have a few different options, such as linear, radial, conic gradient types, HCL, HSB, and HSL interpolation, angle, easing, precision, and you can play with these configurations to get the result that you want before using it on your Oxygen site. So now it's time to put this generator into action on our design. So we're gonna jump into Oxygen and we're gonna grab the colors from our default linear gradient here. So we'll go to Advanced Background Gradient and we're gonna copy this first color, go over to the generator and paste it in. Then we'll go and grab this second kind of teal color, go over to the generator and paste it in. And you can see we get a really nice vibrant result. And now we wanna go ahead and use our new gradient. So we're gonna remove our default gradient. Then let's jump back over to our tool. We'll copy this CSS. We'll go back into Oxygen, go to Advanced, Custom CSS, and paste it in directly on this element's ID. You can see it applies without any trouble, and we can even go ahead and adjust the angle here in the CSS code. And while this works just fine, we're dealing with oxygen here. So of course we're gonna use a class. Let's get rid of that on the element ID and we'll go up and create a new class called gradient. Now we'll go to advanced custom CSS and paste it in there instead. Now we can go back and we can go ahead and lock this class since all it needs to do is apply this gradient. And now that our gradient CSS is on a class, we can reuse it wherever we want. So I'm gonna drop in a new section We'll go ahead and put a div in that section, and then we'll drop in a helper, maybe an icon box. Now we'll go ahead and select the div around the icon box and add some padding just so we can kind of see what we're doing here. And then on this div, we can go ahead and add our gradient class. So we'll click up here on the selector, type in gradient, and go ahead and apply that. Now let's just adjust the styles on this icon box to make sure our text and icon are visible. So we'll go to the heading and set it to a white color, and then we'll go to text and do the same there. Now we just need to select the icon, and then we can go ahead and change it to white as well. So you can see like that, we have a beautiful reusable gradient that we can use across our design. And the nice thing, since it's on a class, it's always gonna be consistent. But wait, there's more. We can also use this gradient on text. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the background from this section, select our heading, change it to a color we can see for now, and we're gonna go ahead and add a class called gradient-text. Now we just need to go to advanced, custom CSS, and we're gonna paste in some CSS here. We have two important properties. Both of them have the WebKit prefix, which is critical, but we have background-clip set to text and text-fill-color set to transparent. Once those are in place, we can go ahead and add any background we want, and it will be confined to the shape of the text. So then that would mean we could jump over here, grab our gradient CSS, and use that as the background of our text element. And this just looks fantastic. I'm gonna adjust the angle a bit here and you can play with these settings all you want to get the effect that you want. And because we used a class, we can go ahead and lock that class and then we can reuse it across multiple text elements. So let's go down here to this section. We'll go ahead and drop in another heading 
And then all we need to do is apply that gradient dash text class, and we have that beautiful gradient effect on another element. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to generate and use more beautiful gradients on your WordPress sites using Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.